Hey guys, welcome to this video. Hasib here, and I'm going to show you how to do custom CSS in Go High Level Surveys using ChatGPT. So I'm going to show you the exact process that I follow to generate custom CSS using ChatGPT for my Go High Level Surveys. So as you can see, I created a survey here, and this looks pretty basic, right? This has a radio option. What type of cases do you have? The other radio option is, is your case being looked by an attorney? and then there are some basic fields but i want the radio options to look a bit better so i'm going to show you the prompts that i uh, used to come up with the best possible custom css uh, for my survey and uh, let me show you the output what uh, what i have currently after using all these prompts back and forth conversation with ChatGPT. So this is what it looks like after, you know, all these conversations with ChatGPT. This one is the most updated code that it wrote me and I had to put it in the custom CSS section of the survey for it to look really good. So this looks pretty cool to me and I'm going to show you what I did to come up with this CSS through ChatGPT. So I went to ChatGPT first of all and then said, write me some custom CSS for my survey. Currently, the radio options look really basic and I need them to look like this one in the screenshot. So I just Googled vertical, um, vertical stacked answers. So I found this and then I just took a screenshot of this and I just sent it to ChatGPT, said I want my radio options to look like this. And then I copied, I said, here's the survey code. So what I did is I just integrate you know, hit this and then I just took view page source and I took the whole code and then I put it in chat GPT. You know, sometimes it won't take it because it may, the, the code may be too long. In that case, it won't accept your message. So what you need to do is you need to take the entire code and put it in an, uh, in an HTML file and then upload the file. Chat GPT can read your uploaded files as well. So do that if it, it doesn't do like, uh, you know, accept your code like that. And then I put the entire code and this is what it gave me. Let's go to the first version. So this is what it gave me. So let's copy and paste it on my survey and see how it looks. So I put it and then it now looks like this, which is not bad, you know. Uh, so this looks good, but I wanted it to look a bit more professional. So I went ahead and I said, can you apply a border radius of 32 pixels on each option and the gap between the options must be eight pixels. So then I copied this one that it gave me and I just put it here. And after updating it, I reloaded it. And now as you can see, it works just the way I want it to work, you know? And let me show you the, the rest of the conversation. So th this is the next one. And then I said, uh, apply a bluish gradient color on the option boxes and the gradient should reverse on hover or click. So if I hover over the options, the gradient should reverse. On click or active, the bluish gradient must be sky blue. So then I copied this that, they, uh, that it generated for me. You know, so this is like a back and forth conversation I had with ChatGPT to to make it look like how I wanted it, right? So as you can see, it applied a bluish gradient and it reverses on hover. And if I click on it, I go to the next step. But if I go back and I, I can see that it's sky blue. So that means this is the option I selected. I can choose another one. In that case, this will change. But, you know, if I go back, I can see which one I selected. So that's pretty cool. And finally, what I did is I said, add a hover grow animation uh, on the boxes with a smooth transition. So I finally copied this code. This is my final version and I updated it. And as you can see, this is my most updated code. So if I hover on it, it has a smooth transition that grows the options. And then if I select and hit previous, it says that this was selected and it, it looks a bit bigger. So that clearly indicates that this was my selected option. So that's that's pretty much what I do to come up with, you know, um, CSS, custom CSS for my surveys. This goes for radio options. You can apply literally the same process for check boxes as well and any other kind of boxes. So these uh, options are not available natively in the Go High Level Survey Builder in the styling option. So that's why I still use ChatGPT to come up with CSS like this. You know, um, because you have given ChatGPT your survey code, it has all the classes, it has all the IDs that it needs to select or write the CSS for. So you don't have to do any extra work for that. That's the reason why I put my entire survey code in this. So ChatGPT can analyze the code and see which one, uh, which CSS class, which CSS ID applies to each of the radio options, checkboxes and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much what I do.
and make sure you subscribe if you like the video and i will see you in the next one